because we also get a lot of questions on nitrites, though um, actually we tend to get a lot more questions from newbies on, on ammonia. Ammonia is actually not very toxic in salt water, but nitrite is. Nitrite is very much more toxic to marine fish than ammonia, and is harder to remove as well. Um, normally the only time you need to worry about nitrite is if you're cycling a tank or curing live rock. Um, check out our video on ammonia for a bit more information on that. But if you've had heavy losses in the tank for whatever reason, it is possible to have a nitrite reading. Uh, the best way to bring it down is probably with polyfilter and large water changes to pull that nitrate down as fast as you possibly can. Dose and live bacteria such as Achium colony and there's other similar ones out there will also um, help convert that nitrite to nitrate quite quickly as well. So that can be quite a good way of getting that out of the water. Um, Ammonia spikes, if you do get one, it's fairly rare, but if you do get one, they come and go in a matter of hours, often before you've even had a chance to notice it. So if you think you have had an ammonia spike, often the easiest way of finding that if you've had is test for nitrite, because while ammonia may rise and fall very quickly, nitrite can hang around. So uh, if you think you've had a problem because of that, then you can check your nitrite to see if you've had a problem with ammonia. But once the tank is cycled, you don't really need to worry about testing for nitrite at all. I wouldn't pay too much attention, and it would only be a sort of forensic thing if you've had losses to try and find out why. But even then, you know, if you've got, um, if something's gone badly wrong with the tank, you could be looking at dead bacteria, dead cleanup crew, uh, dead microorganisms, or dead fish, which will give you a nitrite reading anyway. So uh, it's, it can be something worth testing at the start when you're cycling it. But other than that, I wouldn't worry about it at all. And just concentrate on the main, main parameters uh, if you're new of temperature, salinity, nitrate, and phosphate.